All right, my darlings, we're back, and we're now going to be playing Mario Kart 8 on the Switch. So, thankfully, this one's a lot easier to link up with friends than it was with Pokemon, so we can do this straight from the menu. I'm going to pick the villager there. And the old Mercedes Silver Arrow. There you are. Ah, uh, there we go. See, I'm going with the Mercedes. And if it's anything like an actual Mercedes, the electrics will bugger up halfway through the race and it'll completely keel over. I'm going to use the Bowser parachute. So it's unfortunate with this one is that we're only going to be able to see me, because obviously you're not uh, streaming what your Switch is seeing at the moment. Yeah. But with this one, we're going up against several people from around the world, so there's, it's sort of like if, if I can't win, you can try and win instead, so it's a double victory. Yeah. A shared victory, rather. Yeah. What are the other Mario Kart games have you played? Uh, Diaz, uh, the one on the... the one on the... what's it called? Wii? So Mario Kart Wii and DS, yeah. Yeah, those are the ones I personally owned. Yeah. But I've played, uh, but I've played like, I think I've played nearly every iteration, like uh, just from visiting friends. Well, I played Super, the original Super, through the Nintendo Switch Super Nintendo uh, service thing, mm -hmm. which I like. That I like that they have this sort of Netflix for renting old games. That's really cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Never played Mario Kart sixty four. Which I know a lot of 64 fanboys say that, that one's the best one. Yeah. Uh, I have played Double Dash. That one's really good. And I've also... I, I love Double Dash. Yeah, Double... I wish they'd do that. Yeah, I wish they'd do that same system again. It was really cool. I've also played yeah. uh, Super Circuit, which is the one on the Game Boy Advance. That one's really good, too. It's, it's more of a return to the graphical and uh, gameplay style of Super Mario Kart, but it does it very well. Yeah. And then, of course, there's DS, which I think that's probably still my personal favorite, besides 8. Mm -hmm. it's, if only just because it has Waluigi Pinball as a stadium, and that's one of my favorite cut, uh, of one of my favorite tracks. Yeah. If oh, I, the 3DS one as well. I yeah, played that. Yeah, that's also on the 3DS, and the Wii version, I think. But yeah, I haven't yeah. played the 3DS one either. Mm hmm so yeah, I skipped 3DS, and even technically I haven't played the original 8, because uh, I didn't have a Wii U, so I played this one. Who had a Wii U, to be honest? Quite a few of my friends at university, surprisingly. Oh, it's letting me pick the circuit? Well, it's a, it's a vote. Oh. I'm gonna go with Dry Dry Desert. I'm the only one who's picked it. <laughs> Everyone else has gone for Yoshi Circuit, including you. Yeah. Yoshi Circuit's fun. I know, but I like Dry Dry Desert. I like Dry Dry Desert too, just... I won off from doing mine as well! So yeah, I see you there, Carly, United States. I'm playing as... Who are you playing as? Myself. Oh, you're just your me then. Yeah. I'm the villager. Oh yeah, I see you. Always, I always overdrift. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna catch you. My brother absolutely hates playing this game. Yeah, well, he's a spoil sport. <laughs> Well, he's like, he's he's both a sore winner and a sore loser. <laughs> but he's like, he only plays games that he knows he can win. If there's a slight chance he can't win, he won't play it. Oh, wow! Wow, I can't, I can't. Well, they do say the best uh, way to win is to not play at all. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like... I was like, he, he is good at Mario Kart, but because it's so crazy, it's very easy to go from first place to last place, and he hates that. Yeah. Although he's perfectly fine with Mario Party, even though that's even crazier and more random. 
which I'm looking forward to that new Mario Party coming out later in, uh, uh, later on in the year. I haven't played Mario Party in years. Mm. Well, Super Mario Party on the Switch was actually not bad. It felt a bit, uh, it felt a bit like a light version. I got Bullet Bill, yes. But it felt kind of like a light version of the uh, previous Mario Party games, but it was still good. But the new one is going to be having boards and mini games taken from the first three games from the um, Nintendo 64. Uh -huh. Which I think is really cool. Hopefully, hopefully they'll bring back the 30 turns option again, because on Super Mario Party the most turns you could have is 15. Mm -hmm. Which is fine for a quick get-together, but when you want to like properly bunker in for a proper party, it feels just a bit anemic. Yeah. There's a lot of Nintendo games coming out this year I'm looking forward to. Metroid Dread I'm really looking forward to. What about you? I think probably the Pokemon games I'm looking yeah, forward to. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. I mean, I've played them already, the uh, Diamond and Pearl ones, but hey, I liked it the first time, so why not play it again, but with better graphics? Yeah. And better online play, because the DS's online play was really laggy. Yeah. Oh, God, I've been hit with so many bullet bills. Yeah. Eleventh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Let's do one more race, though. Yeah. Did you ever see, uh, back when the Switch first was made, there was a Kickstarter campaign? Hang on. Oh, Mario Kart Stadium, absolutely. There yeah, was a. That was for that one too. Yeah, but there was a campaign when the Switch first came out to create custom stickers for the Joy-Cons because obviously when they're in their little holder for the proper controller, it kind of looks like a dog's head. Oh, yeah. So they wanted to make a sticker that went all across the front here that would actually make it look like a dog's face. That'd be cute. Yeah, but yeah. It unfortunately it never met its goal. Yeah, well, you I'll could the probably do it uh, yourself if you had a... Uh... If a sticker making machine, yeah. Yeah. Winner gets a little crown. <laughs> and she looks identical she looks identical to the me of my mum as well. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been like that on the last one when I picked Dry Dry Desert? <laughs> Most of the uh, races are from America. There's one from Japan, one from France, one from the Netherlands, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite and least favorite Mario Kart item? Uh, probably my favorite is the uh, is the red shell, just because it's so nice versatile. And it's a classic, yeah. yeah. Uh, my least favorite is probably the fake box. Yeah, that one's annoying. Mm. It's, it's always like every time you use it, it never hits anybody, but any time anyone else uses it, you always hit it. Yeah. Uh. I always like, um, I'm really a big fan of the Fire Flower, the, which is uh, one of the newer items. Oh yeah. It's basically, like, cool. it's basically like the green shell, but it's a lot faster and you can throw ten of them at the same time. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Least favourite, everyone always says they hate the blue shell, but I personally don't mind it myself. Yeah. Yeah, the blue shell I think is kind of fun. Yeah, so I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm definitely not winning now. I do remember though that when I was younger, when I first played the DS version, uh, I would I, every time I played against the computers, I would always win. Mm. 
So what I would do in order to experience the cooler items, I would drive in the opposite direction. Because <laughs> the only the people at the like all the way back at the pack get the really good items. Yeah. So I drive backwards and then get the bullet bill, the blue shell, the superstar, etc. Even the red shell is a rare one when you're in first place. That's such a kid thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, yeah, Lakitu would point out, you're going the wrong way, and I just want to say, I know I'm going the wrong way, that's the point. Yeah. It's like when you play Animal Crossing and you try to go on a murder spree with the axe. Yeah. You're not supposed to do it, but you can't help yourself. <laughs> Which you shared me that hilarious uh, picture the other day of when you go back to Stardew Valley having played Animal Crossing. Yeah. Welcome home, cheater. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually a thing, though. Fifth place, that's not bad. How about you? Uh, 11th. <laughs> so you got the same place I did the last time. Yeah. But yeah, there is actually a thing in Stardew Valley where if you happen to have been romancing all the bachelors or bachelorettes at the same time, on the same day where you get to the same level, they show up at your house and confront you about it. Which is pretty funny. So, and, then, and then all of their um, relationship meters get reset. But the funny thing is that you can then bring it back up again. Yeah. They just forget about it. Yeah. Oh, you cheated on me. Yeah, who cares? Hmm. <laughs> Do you want to go for another race? Because I could go for another race. Sure, why not? Oh, Bowser's Castle. We're definitely going for another race. <laughs> it's always the best Mario Kart track to go for. Well, I'm very glad that so far the connection's held up very well. Yeah. I mean, considering that the connection that I'm using literally just got installed into my flat about a week or so ago, it's holding up remarkably well. Hmm. Well, it's a... Oh, there it goes. Communication error. Oh, I, <laughs> I jinxed it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's call it quits for now, then. Okay. Okay, so... Hope you guys have enjoyed these videos that we've done. Like I said in the last one, if they prove to be popular, maybe we'll do some more of this. But, till the next time, see you later. Later.